own the fantastic world of Juan or Roll. I became intrigued by the attention to detail director Sebastian Del Omo showcased throughout the film. His movie takes viewers on a journey through the life of director Juan Oral and through the history of cinema. Del Omo used various styles in wardrobe, music, and cinematography to convey specific periods of time during each of Oral's memories. Because this film focuses so much on the details of Oral's past, I wanted to compare and contrast the similarities and differences between scenes that Del Omo recreated for this movie with the original Oral production. The first clip I will show is Del Amo's recreation of a scene from Oral's most notable film, Gangsters Contra Charros. The scene begins with a close-up shot of an actress playing the part of legendary Mexican actress Rosa Carmina. The background is flooded with the sound of a camera rolling, a subtle but obvious cue to the audience that once again Juan Oral is remembering his life through the lens of a camera. A piano plays the opening ramble of a seductive Cubano orchestra melody. Del Omo employs high contrast lighting, which is characteristic of film noir and cinematography, to light Rosa's face. By using strong low-key lighting, the director was able to achieve high contrast and deep shadows, which typify the film noir style that Orwell favored in his earlier work. She raises her eyebrow, looks off to the side of the camera, and then raises her arm as the piano reaches a climatic point before the orchestra enters the arrangement. She slowly lowers her hand as she begins singing the opening lines of the song. A wide-angle lens provides a shift from the close-up of her face to an image that shows her torso and upper bo body. We can see her glittering jewelry, her dazzling full-length dress, and perfectly styled black curly hair. She allows her hands and hips to create the movement for most of her dancing. Because of the narrow focus of the camera, we are able to see the outlined silhouettes of a bass player and another man behind Rosa. Then she points to a member of the audience, a man with a thin mustache, white satin bow, and elegant dress jacket. He's the cowboy in the film. Using a rack focus technique, Del Amo shifts the focus from Rosa to Juan Oral, who is the focus of her gaze. He is seated at a table with two other people sitting tall at attention in his chair. Slowly, one touches two of his fingers to his lips, a symbol of the kiss he silently sends to Rosa. The focus then returns to the first man in the scene who now looks in the direction of Juan and then at Rosa with a discomforting look on his face. He nods his head as he recognizes their affair. The director uses an even wider angle lens and a wide depth of field to capture all three actors and more of the audience. Rosa touches her body as she slightly moves her hips, singing slowly with a seductive music. Her song ends and the audience claps out of rhythm and with no hurry at her performance. As she does a slight bow to audience members to thank them for their applause, she is suddenly grabbed by the cowboy who calls her a hypocrite and asks her where she is going. The director uses a narrow depth of field showing the cowboy's head slightly out of focus in the foreground and Rosa's face in full focus so the audience feels the intimacy and urgency of the conversation. A turn of her head is followed by the pan movement of the camera which shows one oral now standing by her side. The focus shifts again to the cowboy whose face is half in shadow and half in light due to a strong key light and lack of a fill light. Rosa stands in between the men as they exchange hostile words. The director moves the camera further away from the trio, using a wider angled lens to capture their quarrel. Del Amo uses close-ups again to capture the faces of the characters as they speak and then switches to the wider angle shot again to show that more members of the audience have joined them. The guns are drawn, but awkwardly pointed to the floor instead of at their opponents. This stays true to Oral's knack at showing cheesy and poorly designed fight sequences. The director uses his zoom to show a close-up of one's gun before moving out to get a wider focus of the scene. Slowly and dramatically, all of the shooters fall to the ground, and then Juan and the cowboy, who are also both injured from bullets, crawl their way to Rosa. The scene comes to a close as Rosa and Juan die before achieving their last kiss. La palidez de una magnolia invade tu rostro de mujer atormentada y en tus divinos ojos. Enamorada, se adivina que es. 
siempre vas hipócrita. Todo puede llamarme menos hipócrita. Desde el momento en el que te conocí, te dije que en mi vida existe un misterio. Y es el yo. Todas las mujeres son iguales. Cuando les entra el calor por el sótano, se van por la azotea. ¿Qué quieres? Chao. Quiero vengarme por el hombre que mataste en la cantina. Este cabaret no es lo bastante grande para nosotros dos. Chao. Pues alguien tendrá que irse. Pero con los pies por delante. ¡Órale, muchacho! Porque siempre siento en mí Este ritmo 